Hey guys, welcome back. So we have everything marked off on the cemetery wall. As you can see, uh, we used the template, a permanent magic marker, and marked off all of our stonework. So next, we were gonna come back through with our foam sculpting tool and uh, cut out sections of the grout lines, therefore uh, forming the stonework. You can see up here, I already started one just for an example so you can see how it looks. Um, and then we'll just do a, a couple of quick ones here just so you can see how it works and uh, the results that you get. So here we go. So again, I've got my sculpting tool. I've got the wire adjusted to the depth that I want. And it's just a matter of applying it to the foam board and cutting it out. So we'll just go ahead and... The trick with the hot wire is don't rush it. Let the wire do the work. Um, it's relatively fast. I mean, you think about doing an eight foot board, you know, it's like, oh, this is gonna take a lot of time, but it's really not that bad. You know, I just put on some music or an old scary movie in the background um, and just kind of cut away. So there's one section already moved. Makes cleanup easy too. It's these nice solid little pieces. They're just easy to pick up, sweep up. And we're just gonna cut out this one large stone here. The other thing that's important that you don't go too fast is, is that if you have your depth set on your hot wire and then you go and you pull too hard, you actually kind of stretch it and it lifts it up and then you don't get the depth that you want. So you end up having to shave more off. So again, just let the hot wire do the work. That's why you have it. So we're almost done here. We just got this little section. Again, I'm just using my two screws on here as a guide. I don't really have to do anything. Um, I've actually seen videos where people will even use uh, gravity to cut large sections. They'll create like their own hot wire cutting board and then they'll lay the pieces right on top of it and just let, let it slide down across the hot wire using gravity. Kind of cool. Not much control, but if you're doing large cuts, I can see where it's going to save you some time. So we'll just cut this one top section off here. There we go. So I'll just raise it up so you can see it. And there you have the cut. So now you can start to see the, the stonework starting to form. And notice how I was telling you before how these grout lines, see how smooth those are? Um, if that's the look you're going for, that's great. But in my case, it's not. I want rough grout lines in there. So then I will come in with a razor blade again and I'll just scrape all in these grout lines, roughing up the stone, trimming off these edges, knocking off corners, all that good stuff to kind of give it a nice aged approach. So I'll go ahead and finish cutting out the rest of the board and I will also go ahead with the razor blade and rough it all up. And then we will show you the next phase which is basically just using a heat gun and shaping the stone and getting this thing ready for paint. So talk to you soon.